Good evening. Welcome to the Shadow Trader Video Weekly for Sunday, September 17th, 2017. You're probably wondering, how did that profile get so fat? Well, what that profile is, is a combined profile of the last four trading days. And you can see here, I can split it back into days. There's, there's the four days there. And the reason I did that is I want to, and I'll do it again, I'll put it back together in a second. I wanted to point out just how poor these highs are, how how many poor highs we have in ropes. We have poor high, poor high, and then we have, I would call this like lack of material excess, where it only takes two ticks to have excess, but here we have three. And then poor high on Friday. And so this really feels to me like, I mean, if people aren't getting long in the hole here, then I don't know what is because there's no range extension and the market had essentially a gap up and go rally on Monday on not the greatest structure, kind of a short covering lollipop down here, right? With a gap below that remains unfilled. So you've got all this kind of action happening and everything's just kind of feels like it's just kind of setting up on shaky ground. Now, obviously, anything can happen. We can gap up Sunday night, keep going. But generally, the thought process is that when you have poor high, especially when you have lots of them here, and I don't, I mean, technically, you, technically you can say that these here are repaired because we traded above it. But remember that in these areas, you have more people getting long, and they need to get paid I think kind of more than just this. It doesn't really feel like like this is any major excess where they can look back and be like, woohoo, you know, like we made a big profit. So it feels to me like people are a little bit stuck long here. And I'll put it back together just for a second so you can see also where all this volume is all for the four days. It's relatively rare that everything is, you know, so much of it is all at one spot. So watch this 92 area, 92 to 93 area. Uh, into next week and we'll see and you can see how when you put all four days together again the high is poor there's no excess uh, whatsoever and also look at the structure when you put the four days together you essentially just have you know one big kind of wedge action where it's essentially squat that's another thing I was going to mention is that these are some of these were some of the smallest uh, profiles that I've seen in a long time in terms of value areas right so you have this gap up and yet the range extension was just nil. You have this area so small, so small, three points, I think. This was actually two points, right? This is actually eight ticks here. These two are two points, and this one here is three points. So, you know, and this isn't much better. This is a valley area from 94.50 to 98 right there. So three and a half points there. So, you know, that's just a lack of range extension. Uh, basically, and that, that's what it feels like. So that's why one of the, the questions that I'm asking in the start of the video on the, on the little bullet points that I say, is this all one big poor high? So we shall see on uh, Sunday night and coming into Monday what the deal is there. All right. All right, next point. Technical still bullish. Agreed. So you have this push here. This is the Monday gap and then consolidation. And of course, we already looked at what that looks like on the profile. I'm going to also draw this in here so we can see, I would say this is a valid trend channel because look at, look at how many, that it's a perfect touch at the high here. So that means if there is more strength, you're probably looking at about the 2515 area, probably up in here approximately. We shall see. All right, that may that may turn the market around. But the what I think is really interesting is as the S&P pushed to a new all-time high and this 2,500 psychological level, which is very psychological, I think the market just kind of wanted to tag it. Um, at the same time, the NASDAQ composite was not able to make a new high. It double-topped here, actually more than a triple top. And the NDX was a look above and fail because this high here was 6,944, which is higher actually then actually just lower i apologize that's it's this one is a this one is like a double or triple top the nasdaq comp is the one that kind of just looked above a tiny bit and failed because this is actually higher than that high this is 60 464.27 and this is 64.60 only right and this one is 64.60 as well so a little bit higher and came in so that that also feels a little bit uh tired to me and the rut has just been on a tear as well for a while 
and could pause here, although from a Fibonacci perspective, it's well over. I mean, I think I pointed this out here before it backed off. I said, look, the rut is coming right to a 61A, and then there was a little back off, and then it, boom, took back the 61A. So at this point, over time at least, at some point, we should expect that the Russell probably makes some sort of a 100% a retracement and moves up to there. So technicals are still pretty bullish, all right? Uh, last week, I made mention of the one-time framing. I do want to just mention that again. Real quick, that has not changed, obviously, because we haven't taken out the prior month's low. So that's just important to note that uh, we are now in the 10th month, and we certainly could go higher. But, of course, as, as each month goes by, the uh, odds increase that we stop one time frame. And remember, we do not have to close below the prior month's low in order to stop one time framing. One time frame just means that we haven't even crossed it. And that's what I find so interesting about it is that if you look going all the way back here to 2009 at the start of the rally, we have never gone this long without taking out the prior month's low. It has never happened. Like here, look, in just three months, it immediately took out the prior month's low. This is only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here on the eighth month. It takes out the prior month's low, right? These are this is a downtrend, so it's taking out the prior month's low. Here you start again one time frame one, two, three, four, five, and here on the sixth month you take out you take it out. You see what I'm saying? Here about four months, and then you you take it out here on the red bar, right? And here one, two, three, four, five. Here on the sixth month you take out the low. And again, here, take out the low, take out the low, take out the low. Here, downtrend, take out the low. And that's what I'm saying is that this is the one time framing phenomena in this section, which is 10 times. You're in the 10th month of one time framing where you have not crossed the prior month's low in the SPX. You can see historically since the start of this rally, which is a long time ago, this is somewhat unsustainable. So take it or leave it. That's what I have to say. All right. Next week will be a pretty big week in the markets. Why do I say that? For the simple fact that, let's go back to the profile, we haven't moved in four days. We have value areas that are so small. We are due to have a value area bigger than these. We are due for an expansion of value. Which direction that will be, that remains to be seen, but that is what we are due for. So just heads up, tomorrow will probably, or next week rather, will probably be a relatively big week. I would think at the very least, the market will come in a little bit and it will test that 92 area that I showed you here when the profiles were combined because that's where all this big volume, you see all these pocks, all this big volume is coming together. All right, trade ideas. And this is important. I hope if Scott and I can get our act together, this is a very, very important announcement. You know that we've been talking about getting our um, options advisories off the ground. And if you look under premium services, that would be these two here. I can't stress enough. Please do not click the button and sign up. There are some details here that you can read, which is good. I would definitely read about them. Uh, this is what it's going to be. And um, there's going to be weekly members only webinar as well, which is included. I'll get to that in a second. But most importantly, look, please do not purchase. We are still testing. We have a uh, few individuals who have purchased already, which is fine. I'm actually, it's okay because... Uh, there's some testing going on and I want to make sure that everybody's getting their emails. Those of you that are have signed up already, if you're watching this, I have not sent out any of those test emails, so don't worry, nothing's happened yet. Uh, if it takes too long to launch, if I'm not ready in the next few days, then uh, obviously I'll just, you know, I'll talk to you and uh, I'll adjust your anniversary date up. So, you know, I don't want to be charging you for anything that, uh, that you're not getting. But the main thing of why I want to talk about this is not only just to give you an advanced heads up that this is happening, that we're launching these two advisories, one for weekly options, which will be myself, and one for time spreads, which will be uh, my colleague, Scott Gillum. Many of you know him from his appearances on our show. But more importantly, that this is going to include every Friday what I call the members only webinar. And that is going to be Fridays at 3 p.m. Eastern before the market closes. So it's going to be one hour of the market open and then probably one hour of it closed. It'll be a couple hours. And I'm going to do the first 10 minutes or so identical to the videos that you are used to all these 10 or 11 years or whatever it's been. That means I'll talk some profile. I'll talk some market profile. I'll talk some uh, technicals and give you an idea of what I'm seeing in the broad market. But then that video will stop. So the free video each week will only be the first 10 minutes and the next two hours will be just for members only. So if you're interested in keeping the videos, 
you may be interested in signing up for this, uh, even if you don't want to get the, the trades or whatever, you just, just want my analysis each week, that's fine. Uh, you know, that's how it's going to be uh, from here on in. So it's just going to be the beginning of it. And then what's going to be cool is we're going to front load the trade ideas and kind of looking forward before we start looking at the trades we have on and the old trades, we're going to look at the new stuff in the beginning of the webinar, which will be exciting. So basically, if you're, you know, if, if you, you're, you're a pretty astute trader and you know what positions we have on and you're okay with that, you don't need a rehash and you don't need any extra handholding and you don't want to ask any questions. You want to know just look, what are the ideas you guys are looking for for the next week? I'm going to purposely put that at the beginning of the webinar so as not to, to bore some people and whatever. So we'll probably go about two hours every Friday. And again, as soon as we launch this, this is going to be members only. And the free video that I've been putting out every Sunday for whatever it is, 10, 11 years now, I can't even remember. Uh, that video will be an edited version of the webinar. It will only be the first 10 minutes or so. All right. So again, and very important, as I was saying, uh, do not sign up yet. I will be sending out an email very shortly. I'll send out some tweets. Don't worry. You'll definitely know if you're watching this video, you're probably on our mailing list. If not, then uh, you've got to click here under the register button and the login and get on our mailing list. And uh, then you'll know. All right. So last but not least, since we are not doing the webinars yet, let me give you some ideas. Da, 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 da. Last kind of free ideas that uh, I'm giving out. Coresight, Coresight Realty. I like the pattern coming into a trend line support here. Uh, I am already long the stock a little bit here around the 110.50 area and looking to add to it here if we can cross the Friday high. And I would like to kind of also hold on here even if we get a little bit of weakness and see what happens at the trend line. But again, this is a IBD 50 stock, highly rated, looks great here. And it's coming into some support here. So that's, that's uh, cool. All right. Amazon as well. I like uh, those of you that follow me on Twitter. It was kind of a up $20,000 uh, day here when the stock rallied. And then just, uh, you know, I sold it off the next day basically give give most of it back I ended up breaking even I was playing the breakout here and I did not want to hold such a big share size into weakness and I for now it looks like I did the right thing but that doesn't mean that I don't think this is still in play I think if the market doesn't fall apart completely I think you're gonna see this move into its October earnings release and sideways and then up and I think maybe even all the way to the all-time high before the earnings but we'll have to see what the what the market does. Okay, uh, gold trend line support is coming. Uh, Scott and I have a couple positions on here. Call butterfly that expires like in two weeks, like 125, 128, 131. That should be good. All we need is a little bit of strength over the next couple of weeks. If we're anywhere up in here, that will uh, be quite profitable. So I, I am still bullish on gold. And last but not least, NVIDIA had a breakout day on Friday, which is phenomenal. And it's got this huge uh, consolidation area. And then it went out. Scott and I talked about many ideas about how to play it in detail on the Squawk Box. If you like that sort of commentary, if you saw that on Friday when Scott came on in the afternoon, it'll give you a good idea of just how in-depth we're going to go with the webinars. You know, the webinars are not just going to be trade ideas where it's like, hey, you know, this pattern's bullish. Do what you want with it. No, we're going to be starting with the chart and then we're going to be going in here and we're going to be looking at exactly what spreads we're going to be doing, giving people advance heads up and say, look, if it comes down to this, expect to get a text message. Uh, you know, if you're signed up, you get a text message, uh, you know, Monday or Tuesday. This is the trade we're probably going to be doing. So don't be surprised when your phone lights up and we're buying this call spread, selling those puts, doing this risk reversal, that time spread, et cetera. OK. And uh, along those lines, just so you know, these uh, all these the, the actual official trades that will be put out by the advisories, real time text messaging, not push notifications, has nothing to do with the spreadsheet that we've been sharing. The spreadsheet is just, uh, you know, keeping a running total of, of P&L and, and, and a track record of what we've been doing. We'll continue to update the spreadsheet, but the spreadsheet will be hidden now. It will only be for for the people that are, you know, uh, paying for the advisories, uh, the actual trades will not come to you via the spreadsheet or just push notifications or something like that. You will put your phone number into our website. You do not need Twitter. 
you will automate you will just get text to your phone like automatically obviously I'll give you instructions how if you want to turn those off some people I know are gonna be signing up just to get the videos or, or attend the webinars they're not interested in the trades that's fine there'll be instructions on how to turn it off but basically I say that just to be clear that you will not need Twitter for this you do not need a Twitter account you don't need to follow my Twitter uh, my Twitter is going to be going getting a lot quieter uh, over the next weeks and months as we do this uh, I will no longer be putting out as much free information on Twitter as I have been I'm going to be quieting down on that because I want to be putting all my trade ideas out here uh, basically you know to the members only so I want to be uh, looking at looking at that and um, you know that's basically it uh, these uh, advisories are going to be are split in two because they have two different time frames basically uh, I'll be doing the trades on the first one Scott Gillum will be doing the trades on the second one and they are going to be basically different in structure in terms of mine will be more anything goes and more momentum based whereas Scott's will be strictly time spreads and he will be probably doing some of his SPY trades which we we gave uh, you know he gave a hint on how he how he does the SPY uh, uh, single calls and puts that he does uh, which is kind of cool he's got a pretty cool method for trading uh, spider uh, calls and puts. He'll probably be doing some of those, but uh, it's all just basically a difference how you want to type. If you want to get the trades from both, then obviously you have to sign up for both. Uh, to see the webinar every Friday, to get an invite, you know, obviously it's included. You only need to be signed up to one of these. It doesn't matter which one. Scott and I will be doing the webinars together. We'll talk about the trades in one advisory. We'll talk about the trades in the other advisory. It's all one thing. So I'm just, just I just want to be really clear on that. You do not need to sign up for both to be, to have, uh, you know, to, to attend the webinar. It doesn't matter which one you sign up for, basically. And the webinars, of course, will be recorded. The recordings will be posted somewhere secure. I'm not sure yet if we're going to email them out. More than likely, you'll get an email saying that the recording is ready. But again, that will also be just members only. It will be only for people that are signed up for things. I will not give the webinar out for, for free. I won't, uh, you know, I won't put it out there. Uh, out of courtesy to the people that are paying, I'm not going to just uh, let anybody watch the webinar. Just I'll just edit it down to those first 10 minutes. All right, so that's that. And again, give me just a couple of days to get this going. Expect an email in your box. It should be exciting and fun. A lot of you have been following along already on our uh, trades that we've been doing here. And we've been keeping track of them here. The green ones are still open. Scott has been splitting out his on the, uh, on the time spreads. We have a separate one of these out and again after a couple of days from now these will be private and uh, only the people uh, that are involved will get uh, access to the sheets all right so that's it again uh, cautiously kind of bearish and waiting this out on the market and seeing what's going to happen here um, poor high is definitely a thing as far as like all this stuff again anything can happen could just you know, take off to the upside from here, but to me, feels like the market is seriously. Okay, apologize. Apologies, I had a phone call there, so I kind of lost my train of thought. But anyway, what I was saying is, uh, you know, feels like feels like they're crowding the plate. Uh, so we'll see uh, now Sunday night if uh, futures come in a little bit or not. Um, and just kind of cautiously, you know, we'd like to remain bullish here, but just feels like an overbought market just due to this structure and everybody possibly kind of stuck in a bad spot so we shall see all right on behalf of myself and the entire shadow trader team here in beautiful philadelphia pennsylvania i wish you good trading and good night